everybody would like a fan that loves their music. However, it's not that binary, whether somebody loves or hates your music or whether they kind of like it or nah, it's whatever, you know, it's more of do they like you as an artist? Do they like your music? But also, do they like you as an individual? See, with social media, we have the opportunity to showcase multiple different elements of ourselves as artists in order to let the the fans in a little bit more into us. What's up, y'all? Harkos here with another music marketing review right here from the Music Making Sense podcast team. For those of y'all who haven't seen a music marketing review, basically what it is is I go through all the social media accounts of a specific artist and look at how they're utilizing their social media, how, what kind of posts they're posting, what kind of frequency, what kind of content they have within their posts, all different kinds of other metrics as well too, just to help them get a better grasp of what they're doing well and what some things that they can improve on with their social media marketing in order to help them grow as an artist and grow their fan base and then just connect with their fans and their new fans in a better, more solidified way to where they can actually build that cult-like following that a lot of artists seem to be missing, especially when they're starting out. They don't necessarily think that deep and that's kind of something that you need to think about. You know, you don't have to go really, really deep into the thought, but you need to think on the surface, what kind of fan do I want? Well, everybody would like a fan that loves their music. However, it's not that binary whether somebody loves or hates your music or whether they kind of like it or nah, it's whatever, you know, it's more of do they like you as an artist? Do they like your music? But also, do they like you as an individual? See, with social media, we have the opportunity to showcase multiple different elements of ourselves as artists in order to let the, the fans in a little bit more into us. You know, because before social media, the only way you really knew anything about an artist is if they had a, a biography or an autobiography written about them, or if there was a documentary, or you know, there were there were some artists that would do some behind the music type of stuff. But even still, that was kind of uh orchestrated and um put together in a way that showcased a specific view or a specific aspect of an artist that they wanted you to see. Now, social media is the exact same way. However, you can be a lot more organic and authentic with it. And that is going to resonate with people way, way better than anything choreographed. Okay. So with social media, I want to tell every single one of y'all, be raw, be real, be organic be authentic because that is what's going to resonate with people a whole lot more in the era of everyone being fake and Photoshop and AI and all these other things that distort reality and make it look uh, more appealing or just make it look not real. People just crave that reality because, you know, honestly, for thousands of years, we've had that reality. But anyway, let me go ahead and get into this music marketing review right here for an R&B future superstar, Q Legend. All right, so we're right here on Q Legend's Instagram page. And as you can see, you know, he's got some promotional posts about his music. Uh, I got some stuff in here about food. This is actually a recent one. I'm creating this video a few days after I actually sent him the email about this music marketing review. So he added in the food and stuff like that in here. But I also did see a little bit about food previously on his social media. So I'm glad that he listened a little bit to some of the advice that I gave him that I'm going to share with you all right here, right now. But anyway, so whenever I was looking at his social media before, whenever I was first putting up the marketing review, I was sitting here looking and it's music, 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 music. And it's all about the same song, his new single called They Say, right? And that's cool to promote your music. But as you see, there's not really much here. 
You know, there's no video. It's all pictures. And this is Instagram. And Instagram is trying to gain some market share back from TikTok. So posting videos in the form of reels or even long form video content, you know, they have a time limit. But either way, that is a good way to capitalize on the diversity of Instagram. Now, I know Instagram started out mainly as pictures, and it still kind of is mainly pictures, but video is is pretty big on Instagram now as well, too. But anyway, if you look back previously before his new single came out, he was posting some, you know, lifestyle type of things in here as well, too, which is perfectly fine. But one thing I recommended to him is, you know, post more diverse things, post more video, creative video, and, you know, lifestyle or hobby style um, interest piece videos, okay? Even if it's you just hopping on for a minute or two and and saying a couple of lines of something that that you know are near and dear to your heart, some kind of motivational thing, or if you just want to bring up some current events or something like that that you're interested in, a specific hobby you want to show people what you're working on. You know, if he's if he's a chef, he likes doing cooking. You know, you want to say, hey, look at me, I'm you know cooking with Q Legend. You know, and start that, start that as a podcast on YouTube and on all the podcast platforms. You can do it absolutely for free, and. Go ahead and put that out there and start creating little videos, okay? And then you can also use, you know, free video editing platforms like CapCut on your phone, or you can even use DaVinci Resolve on your computer, which is, they're all both free, and you can edit your videos together, put them all out, and then put out the audio version as well, too, on the podcasting platform, stuff like that. So you can then take clips of that and put that out on your social media as well too and get a lot more entertaining engagement and you can you put your music behind it as well too you know it's social media is something that's very very versatile it's not binary and you can do a whole lot with it over here on his tiktok it is kind of a a, a newer tiktok it looks like got quite a bit of followers and following and stuff like that but only a few posts on here so i think he said something about he had deleted some of the old videos or something like that so you know, it is what it is. I understand some people will do that. But, you know, here's another place where you can start putting out more content, start putting more diverse content out here as well, too, and really start racking that up, you know, because he's already got a couple hundred views on the videos that he already does have, you know, so to get that out there and start creating more content a couple of times a week at least get that rocking and rolling as much as possible it's definitely going to help out growing on tiktok as well you can use the same exact posts on instagram and twitter and facebook and youtube shorts you can use the same content on all the places and post them the same day if you want to because not everybody's going to follow you on all the social media platforms every single day they're just going to see you on one maybe two right speaking of twitter or x over here on his twitter and x let's call it x fuck it you know he's got some video and image in here as well too decently diverse in here got he's linking back to his facebook that's something that you can do however all the different social media platforms don't like when you post links to the other social media platforms unless it's something like facebook and instagram where they're owned by the same company all right they don't like when you do that because then it takes you off of their platform onto one of their competitors platform. And all these platforms are competing for attention, your attention. And that is the highest price commodity in the world right now is people's individual attention. So what I would recommend is just posting the same content on all the platforms. That way you don't have to worry about it. Cause right here, he's posting a reel post that motherfucking reel right up here. All right. You know, you, you can do that same stuff right here. Look, he's got videos going on. You know, that is is key right there. Having some videos. But then again, diversity of content, especially here on Twitter. You know, he can come in and, and post a, a tweet every single day with some kind of morning motivation or or some kind of, oh, look at, look at the meal, morning meals that I made, whatever, you know, all different kinds of options. And then with uh, Facebook here, you know. Yeah, he's starting to, you know, have some diversity of content in here as well, too. Facebook is one that you can do, you know, images and text page posts and stuff like that in here as well, too. So you got a little bit of diversity and stuff like that. And some of these things, you know, I would just 
you know, repost in the other platforms as well, too. One thing that I did suggest to him that that is definitely key to work on uh, first thing first is if you notice his name on all these different platforms is different. All right. So this one's X is Q Legend Music. That's not bad at all. However, TikTok is Q Legend 90. And then it says D'Angelo Brewster right there. Okay. And then you got this one, Quajon D, Q Legend Music. Okay. On Facebook. Okay. And then you got Q Legend Music on Instagram. Right. And then over here on YouTube, he's got Q Legend. So uh, what I recommend to him is either have Q Legend everywhere, capitalize the Q, put a dash in there or something like that if you want to, however he wants to spell it, or just have it Q Legend Music, all one word, put that everywhere. All right. Every single platform, stay, say the exact same thing, all right? That way, when people go to look for you, they can find you. I even suggested that he get a uh, a hyperlink or a hyperfollow or a link tree or whatever you want to call it. That way, he can just have one link that he can share with people when they ask him, for, hey, where can I find you, anything like that. He can share that link. They can click it, and they can click on whatever platform they want, whatever streaming platform, whatever social media, everything like that, and they can find his music everywhere very, very simply and very, very easily, especially with the name situation. Even after he gets the name situation taken care of, he can still have that have that ease of access for people just to click that hyperlink. Boom, they're good to go. All right. One thing with his YouTube, uh, I did suggest putting a cover photo right there, just having a big Q. It's not very well branded visually. And then right here, you know, the the at is D'Angelo Brewster 8315. Change that at, make it Q Legend Music, make the name Q Legend Music as well too. It looks like right here on his YouTube, he's got a Q apostrophe legend. Do that on every platform. You know, have it the same word on every platform. And then he did tell me he was having some issues with DistroKid linking his DistroKid to his artist youtube channel but that does take a little bit of time sometimes about like two to four weeks and he does have that taken care of now so whenever he starts posting new music to distro kid it'll automatically post here instead of to the topic page that is one thing i want every single one of your artists to make sure that you try to set up immediately all right whether you go through distro kid or you go through any other kind of distribution service make sure that you link that distribution DSP up to your actual YouTube channel. Because if not, whenever they give you the link to share with people, it takes people to a topic page, which is a various, various artist channel. And the, the fans will not be able to find any more of your music very easy on a topic channel. Okay. It's, it's kind of difficult and but even still, you can't build that solid fan base on a topic channel. All right. Because for one, it says topic next to it. It's very confusing. All right. So have your own artist page like what he has here, Q Legend or Q Legend Music, uh, whichever he wants to have it as. Stick it with that, put it everywhere, and then drop the content here. And I even told him all your shorts and everything like that that you're putting out on on TikTok and on Instagram reels and Facebook reels and on 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 X. Put them right here in the shorts as well, too, because if you look, he has uh, a few shorts in here, but, you know, start putting more in there, get more, more diverse with it and stuff like that. A couple of these are actually after me and him have talked. This one right here is uh, September 27th, September 26th. Me and him talked about the 24th, I think it was. So he has started putting a little bit of different things in here. Look, look at that. Q Legend cooks, too. See what I'm saying? Like. I definitely appreciate that that him as an artist, he took the time to 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 hear what I was saying and kind of start implementing that a little bit as well too. That that means a lot to me. Not because I think I'm king or anything like that, but because, you know, I took the time to check out all this stuff and give him my recommendations and he started actually implementing some of that. All right. That that means the world to me. And uh, so big props to Q Legend. All right, man. So right here, there is one thing that I wanted to show you as well, too. Goes back to exactly what I was saying with that topic bullshit. All right. Topic pages are garbage. Get them out of here. So if you look right here on his Instagram, he's got his links right here. Right. And with Instagram, you can't 
really have clickable links in your posts. For those of y'all who don't know, you can't do that. So what it always is, is like link in bio is usually what you'll tell people in the actual description of your post. And then they can go right here and you click on it. There's four different links that he actually has up in here. And when you click the YouTube, it actually brings you to his Q Legend topic page. All right. So it's got the song right here. You can listen to it and Distro Kid will track it. However, if you click the Distro the Q Legend topic page, it's only got just this song right here. All right. There's no playlist. There's more about the channel, nothing like that. It's all very, very basic. And if somebody subscribed to this, like the 27 people that have, they may or may not get the next piece of content that you put out. All right, because not all the time does District Kid put it out to the exact same topic page. Sometimes they fuck up and they put it on a totally new topic page. All right, I've seen that happen with artists and it's a catastrophe. All right, so make sure you link that up with your official artist page so you don't have this issue. And also make sure that you're dropping content on your artist page and you got it all connected and you're pushing just your artist page on YouTube. Don't confuse people with multiple other things. You know, those 27 subscribers over on his topic page, they could be added on right here to the 59. So 59 plus 27, that's how many subscribers he could have right now. He could be almost 100. All right, but hopefully he can go contact those 27 people and get them to roll over, but those might be lost, unfortunately. So he's going to have to try to regain those 27 um, on his actual YouTube channel right here. So that's just something I want y'all not to not to fall into all right don't don't just think oh they're posting it to youtube for me yeah but it's not going to your actual youtube all right and um if you post that that content up on your youtube channel manually distro kid won't track any of the plays or anything like that so make sure you have it linked with distro kid or whoever and make sure you get that taken care of before you start posting with them. All right. It takes a little bit of time. So make sure you get that all set up in advance. That way you can get every single, every single fraction of a penny that they give you. All right. All right. So right there, that was the music marketing review for Q legend. I uh, hope every single one of y'all enjoyed it. Hope every single one of y'all learned some shit off of that as well too. All right. I want to say big props to Q for actually starting to implement some of the uh, suggestions I made. That shows a lot right there. You know, as an artist, sometimes it's hard to escape your ego. As a human, it's hard to escape your ego, okay? And when when somebody gives you advice or tips and tricks or anything like that on a, or a critique, which is what I gave him, was constru constructive criticism. When that happens, sometimes people will let their ego talk for them, and he didn't do that. So big props to him. I know it's hard personally. I have that, I have that issue happen a lot throughout my life where – People give me constructive criticism and I wear my heart on my sleeve and I, I let it out sometimes. So you just got to make sure that you just be conscious of that. All right. Especially when people say, hey, would you like a music marketing review? And you say, yeah, take what they say and say, all right, thank you. I definitely appreciate it. All right. And then start implementing it. But anyway, um, speaking of that, if any one of y'all watching right here, right now would like to have a free mo music marketing review right here, just like what I gave Q legend, just what I like, what I've given um, the other artists we've had as well too. And we're going to keep having more and more of these right here on the channel where you're listening or viewing right here, right now. Make sure you drop a comment down below. That way we can go ahead and get you that free music marketing review. All right. You can ask Q Legend. You can ask any of the other ones that you see right here getting a music marketing review that they didn't have to pay a single dime. I didn't sit there and put them into a sales funnel or hit them up on, you know, trying to get money out of them or anything like that. All right. It was 100% genuine. Here's a music marketing review for you. All right. Take it or leave it however you like it. All right. But you know, we are music marketers right here at Music Making Sense Podcast. So if you do want to work with myself or KP, my co-host on the Music Marketing Podcast, just drop a link below or send us a message or an email. MusicMakingSensePod.com is the website where you can find all the socials and streaming platforms for Music Making Sense Pod. You can even find the email, send us a message or an email and a free consultation. I'll sit down with you, go through a consultation and we can start working and helping you grow your social media and your marketing and your fan base, which is the key. That's what every single one of us as artists want to do is grow our fan base right exactly so go ahead and drop something down below let me know what you thought about today's music marketing review and i will see you next time on 
music marketing reviews right here from Music Making Sense Podcast. See y'all later.